Let's summarize what we have discussed about measurement. The important concepts in measurement are reliability and measurement validity. Reliability simply means that if you measure the same subject or same companies again, you will get the same result. So it's about consistency of measurement and the lack of random noise. Validity on the other hand is much more complicated. It is about uh, whether the indicators measure what they are supposed to be measuring. One way to uh, think about that is that uh, the measured attribute must exist and uh, it must causally produce variation in the observed score. So that's one definition of validity. That is of course more difficult to demonstrate. Reliability can be demonstrated empirically because it's basically a statistical concept, lack of random noise. You can uh, either repeat the same measurement over and over and take the, the uh, and check how much those correlate. That will be evidence of reliability if you can argue that the measurements are actually independent and that the trait that you're measuring has not changed. It is possible to do if there's a time delay, but in, if in that case you have to uh, set the time delay to be sufficiently long so that the person doesn't remember that they were measured before. If you have a bathroom scale and you measure a person on a bathroom scale, then when the person steps off the scale, the scale resets in a couple of seconds and then the person can be measured again. If you are talking about psychological measurement, asking people questions, then you may need to give the people or the person a, a few days or a few weeks uh, time to reset and then you ask the question again. So that's the test retest approach. Another way of doing reliability is uh, do parallel tests, in which case uh, you use different measures that are sufficiently different so that you can ar argue safely that they are actually distinct instead of just repeating the same measurement over and over and uh, that they measure the same trait. Then you can check the correlation between those two indicators and uh, if they are unidimensional then uh, the correlation is an indication of reliability. Multiple measurements can be also used to improve reliability. So the idea is that if you have unreliable measurement like you measure uh, the weight of a wiggling child using a bathroom scale, then taking multiple measurements and taking the mean is more reliable than any individual measurement. Demonstrating validity is much more difficult problem and it cannot be done directly using statistical technique. We can demonstrate validity in two different ways. We can only demonstrate that our observations are consistent with our measurement theory. So uh, the idea of construct validity was that uh, if a, a measure for innovativeness is valid measure for, for innovativeness, then it should be positively associated with any measure of any possible consequence of innovativeness. So the idea of construct validity was whether the theoretical correlations and empirical correlations agree. But ultimately measurement is about uh, making a causal claim. You're the validity, uh, a measurement is valid if the variation in the construct causes variation in the indicators. And that is uh, not a methodological question. Instead, it's a substantive question that cannot be uh, fully outsourced to methodology. So ultimately, you have to uh, be able to claim in which way, for example, why would a person uh, from a more innovative company answer positively to uh, a question about the innovativeness than a person in a, uh, that who works in a, a less negative, less uh, innovative company.